everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this whole baby gender scenario. I'm currently 17 weeks pregnant. I do not know if I'm having a boy or a girl yet, but the doctor is going to triple check for me next week, and then I'm gonna have my big gender reveal party next Sunday. So, before I officially know what I'm having, I thought it'd be fun to do all the old wives' tales as to how to guess what you're having, and then we'll see how true they are. So, I'm currently online, and there's like, I don't know, 32 old wives' tales. I don't know if I'm gonna do all of them, but uh, let's see how many I can do. All right, number one, the Chinese gender prediction chart. So according to this chart, you look at the month of conception, and then you look at the age of the time that you were during conception. So I'm 30 and was 30, and the baby was probably conceived in May. So if I look at this chart, May going over to 30, the Chinese calendar says that I'm having a girl. The games begin! I have my little chart here, girl. First point. All right, the next one says, feel of your skin. Carrying a boy said to give you drier skin where a girl brings out all the oils. Well, I've always had very oily skin, but surprisingly, I haven't had any extreme breakouts, which I was preparing for since I already have very acne-prone skin. But since it hasn't been like crazy, I'm gonna give that point to the boy. The next one is the glow. Everyone complimenting on your gorgeous pregnancy glow. Hmm. Some of you have told me that I'm glowing via like my YouTube videos even before I told you I was pregnant. So that's another one for the boy. The next one is the linea nigra. Some moms develop a dark line down the center of the belly. If the line continues above your belly button, you're having a boy. But if it finishes below your belly button, you're having a girl. Let's see. Fortunately, I don't think I have any line yet. I might have a little bit starting here, but it is staying below the belly button. So that means, girl, this is getting interesting, people. Two for girl. Hair, if your hair becomes thick and glossy, it's a boy. If your hair is so dull and limp, you might be having a girl. I haven't noticed a big difference in my hair. I don't think it looks any better. If anything, I guess it was feeling really limp. That's why I went in for a haircut to get some more volume. I'm not really impressed with my hair lately, so I think that's gonna be one for the girl. But the next one says body hair. If your body hair is growing thick and fast, you're said to be having a boy. If the hair growth has remained normal, then it might be a girl. I have noticed more hair growth under my arms and on my legs. And what I mean by more is I actually have hair there because I have done laser treatment, so I really haven't had to shave in a long time. I do recommend laser hair removal. So it was kind of new to have hair growth once again. So yeah, I am having more body hair growth, so that's one for the boy. We are tied, people. Weight gain, carrying all of your weight out front, it's a boy. If those pregnancy pounds are piling all over, you might be expecting a daughter. All of my weight gain is definitely just in my stomach. I don't think I've gained it anywhere else. My boobs have definitely gotten bigger, so that's been a free upgrade. But if I had to talk about the placement, it's definitely on my stomach, so that goes to boy. Baby's heart rate. Girls are known to have faster heartbeats than boys. Above 140 BPM means you're having a girl, and lower than 140 means you're having a boy. So for my first and my second ultrasound, the baby's heart rate was 150. So that is over 140. So that's another point for girl. Wow. <laughs> we are keeping this pretty close. Are your feet growing? A baby boy is said to add a half a size and a girl keeps your feet in the current shoe size. My foot size hasn't changed yet, so I guess that is a point for girl. 
Cravings, sweet versus salty. Salty food cravings means that you are having a boy. Sweet means you're having a girl. I'm someone that's always craving sweets. I have the biggest sweet tooth. But craving wise, I'm all over the place. Some days I really want hot Cheetos. Some days I really want Cold Stones. Some days I like drench all of my vegetables in tahine. And other days I'll want to eat an entire bag of gummy bears by myself. So that one is a toss up. So I'm going to say no point. Caring high versus caring low. Boy bellies are said to be low while girls are up high. Now, I took a picture, I put it on Instagram, and I had you guys vote. If you didn't vote, you gotta follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee right now so you can be more involved in my videos. But let me check the polls right now. 60% said high and 40% say low. I'm gonna show you guys just, just so you can, you know, decipher for yourself. All right, what do we think? High or low? Right now, I think it's just like literally right in the middle. I don't think I can tell because I'm still kind of small. I don't know. But if I'm gonna go based off of your Instagram votes, you guys think I'm carrying high, which is another point for a girl. Sickness. This one can be read in different ways. Some say that any nausea at all means girl, but others say that actual vomiting means girl. Only nausea means boy. I haven't had any morning sickness, thank God. So a lot of people have been saying that that means that I'm having a boy because I haven't been sick and throwing up. But my mom, who had me and my sister and my brother, never got nauseous at all, even during two girl pregnancies. I'm also someone that doesn't really throw up. I've only thrown up twice in my life. <laughs> so, so I don't know if that's a fair one for me, but because I have not been nauseous at all, that means the boy gets the point. Daddy's weight gain. If the husband is also gaining weight, you're having a girl. If he remains the same, it's a boy. Royce has had more cravings than I have. He's been the one really pushing these midnight McDonald's runs. So, uh, yeah, he might have gained a little bit. Sorry, babe. That means girl. But Royce also just really likes McDonald's. The next one, urine color. If your urine color is brighter yellow than normal, it's a boy. Remember your prenatal vitamins, it's also probably causing this. All right. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do any of the urine things for you guys, so I thought you might be a little grossed out, but uh, you pee, you know you do. So we're just, we're just gonna do this, okay? I'll be right back. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. A nice, fresh cup of Bianca Renee Today urine. And it's pretty bright yellow. Yeah, I also haven't been drinking as much water as I know I should. So yeah, that's gonna be a point for the boy. I'm gonna put that pee to the side because we're gonna need that one a little bit later. Heartburn, typically you hear that heartburn means a full head of hair, which the baby better have, but it also means you're having a girl. I haven't had any heartburn. I had it once when I had like a whole bag of hot Cheetos one day, but that was kind of it. So like normal heartburn, I wouldn't think so. so that's another point for boy. And just like that, we're tied again. Moody versus mellow. If you're feeling more moody than mellow, you might be having a girl. If you're more chilled out, you should be ready because you're having a boy. Now, I'm not just saying this because it's me. I've actually asked my husband what he thinks, and he thinks I've actually been a greater person now that I'm pregnant. So I guess I've been more chill, which means another point for boy. The eye test. Look in the mirror for about a minute. If your pupils are dilating, it means you're having a boy. Let me get a mirror. I'm gonna set the timer. One minute. Fifteen more seconds. I do think they are dilating. If they're dilating, it means it's a boy. Wow. I think they were. It was subtle, but I think they were. So that's another for boy. The Mayan system. 
This determines a baby's sex by looking at the mother's age at conception and the year of conception. If both are even or both are odd, it's a girl. If one is even and the other is odd, it's a boy. So I am 30, which is an even number. And the year of conception was 2019 this year. So that's even and odd. So that means another point for boy. So now things are going to get interesting. This is the baking soda test. I have to pee in a cup and then add two tablespoons of baking soda. And if it fizzes, it's a boy. And if it remains flat, it's a girl. Let's do this. All right, I have my cup of urine sample here. I'm gonna add the baking soda. If it bubbles, it's a boy. If it doesn't, it's a girl. It's a boy. Here we go. Boy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, so far. Oh, Wait, so far. I saw a bubble. Look, no, but it's, well, it's supposed, it's supposed, to, supposed to, to like, like fizz. Well, it says two, let me do two. Okay. It's supposed to like be a like crazy bubble. I just watched a video on it. Here we go. Well, it's supposed to be like Ghostbusters bubbles. Like <gasps> maybe you gotta talk to it. Stayed flat. Oh, oh no. Interesting. Okay, hold up. As I'm editing this video, I'm noticing more bubbles than I realized in the moment. So now that I'm curious, I'm gonna try it one more time. All right, now I have a fresher, warmer, larger sample. Adding in the baking soda. Whoa, <laughs> okay, that is new. That is definite bubbling. Let's add another spoonful. Wow, okay, that's definite fizz. So that means this point should have gone to a boy. Keep that in mind towards the end of this video. So that oh means no. another point for girls. Oh. Girls are oh. coming up, they're coming up. <laughs> All right, now for my next one, I'm gonna need the grandma. Oh no. And we're gonna do, I guess it's popular in the Latina culture, you guys told me on Instagram, we're gonna put a fork under one pillow and a spoon under another. What? I'm gonna leave the room, then I come and sit on a pillow. Whichever one I happen to sit on is gonna tell me the gender. Oh. Let's nice. do it. All right, mom, you ready? Yep. All right, you got the fork, you got the spoon? Fork, spoon. All right, now let's put it under some pillows. So fork's under there, spoon's under there. Okay. <laughs> Bianca! Sit your butt down. Wooshka, <sighs> wooshka. Feeling. Ooh, feel comfy? What is it? Oh, it's a spoon! What does that, that mean again? It's a girl! Oh! <laughs> Scores are evening uh, up. Next, next, we're gonna do the ring test. So I'm gonna take my wedding ring, I'm gonna put it on a piece of string or a piece of hair, and we're gonna dangle it over my stomach. If it goes in circles, it's a girl. If it goes back and forth, it's a boy. All right. All right, just laying down. Right Mom, you got the ring. Closer. Like right here. Yes. Right here. And the verdict. Is it going in circles or swinging side to side? I feel like it's kind of doing both. And I guess. Yeah, it's going in circles. Yeah, more circles. Circles? Circles. Circles. All right, another point for girls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Out of curiosity, we're trying a different ring without a diamond. This is my grandpa's ring. So let's see what grandpa says. <laughs> circles or side to side? Uh, looks like still circles. Circles? Yeah. That's what it was the very first time I did it. Still a girl. Oh wow, even. And just like that, we're tied again. So after all that, the final results are tied. 10 and 10. Are you kidding me? This is literally why I have no idea what this baby is. I go back and forth every week, and this is why. None of these little like fact checkers are helping me out. All right, maybe I should find a tiebreaker. Let me see if I can find one more. 
Some say if your nose is getting bigger or wider, then it's a boy. If it stays the same, it's a girl. My nose hasn't been getting any bigger, so I guess that would be another point for a boy. Oh, another good one that I forgot about is how you sleep at night. So if you sleep on your right side, it's a girl. If you sleep on your left side, it's a boy. Kind of like in general, I always start with Royce and then I end up rolling away <laughs> by like, I don't know, mid-sleep. So I think I'm usually always sleeping on my right side, which brings me back to girl. Um, my mom thinks it's a girl. Royce's mom thinks it's a boy. I don't, I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> what else is there? Everything else like is non-definitive. Like these are the only ones I can like really give an answer to. Once again, we are back to a tie and all these little things didn't help me at all. There's some that we did that I feel like hold a little bit more weight than others. Let me know which old wives tale you believe let me know if you've had a kid before and which ones were true for you i would even throw in the dream one but i've had dreams about both boys and girls so like that doesn't mean anything for me so i think i just have to leave it here as a tie so at this point leave me a comment let me know what you think i'm having so we have it in writing so you get all the bragging rights and the i told you so's once i announce what the baby is do you think it's a boy or do you think it's a girl if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure to follow me on Instagram because you'll get more information there about my life and the baby and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.